Hello to my crafty creators. Y'all have got to excuse the heat that's going on in the background because it is cold in my shop. I have a few things out. Um, I have this mold here of a tray. I'm going to put these two uh, knobs on each end. Uh, I tried to make like a navy blue and let's let's get this up so you can see yeah I like that and the way that I achieved that look I use Tekka Roots ocean blue I also use Picasso navy blue and then I had to add a drop of some kind of cheap paint from out of family dollar in the color of black okay so now um, let's go ahead and start so I'm just gonna outline these edges with this clear really quick like that I'm going over the mole and everything else <laughs> so y'all want to take and make sure it's pushed up to the edges really good okay this navy blue that I made from the center and it's probably gonna reach all the way out to almost blend into that clear but it's okay I'm doing several layers so I don't mind if it does I just wanted to touch it a little bit. Oh, this navy blue is awesome, y'all. And this is for my 50th uh, subscriber. His, uh, he's doing this for his mother. And um, he didn't have a particular thing in mind. So I thought, you know, well just about everybody wants something to put their jewelry on or you know just something at their nightstand to sit things on and I am using uh, today I'm using incredible solutions tabletop um, epoxy I was waiting to let my bubbles rise a little bit think maybe I should have just used the alcohol which I still am I'm gonna use some alcohol so it won't be that bad hopefully I'm not burning anything Okay, and y'all, everybody says, yeah, you can use um, alcohol to pop the bubbles, and I do have the 99%, the 99.9% .9 alcohol, so I'm just going to spray this, just come up here and spray it. Y'all, I am so sorry. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be recording everything, but this is the trade that I was working on. And now I'm getting ready to place the uh, B on. And I'm going to try to do this easy because it is not ready. But I'm going to go ahead and do it because I've got a lot of stuff to do. <gasps> Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Y'all, if I mess this up. I'm going to have to redo the whole thing back over. And I think I did mess it up a little bit. Oh, gosh. Uh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. It is messed up a little bit. Got to see, can I lift it somehow? Or I'm gonna have to cut it. So, this part right here, yeah, 
I, I think I'm gonna have to uh, I think I'm gonna have to cut it where is my scissor I'm gonna have to cut it y'all that part is good oh I wish I didn't have to cut it oh my goodness thinking I'm a G okay let me see where I can lift up or something in it look decent mm. maybe I can do it from right there Ugh. Gonna just slide that on down. And this part right here. I have to cut this right here. When you make a mistake, you clean it up. I made a mistake and still making a mistake. Freak. Almost. I'm wondering, am I going to have to put some kind of decorations or something right here? Okay. I think I got it. Okay. I've got it. Now, um, since I messed up a little bit, I'm hoping when I pour the resin down, you won't see, um, like my epic failure. <laughs> if it looks bad when I'm done, I'll just redo it. Okay, I got my resin poured and dang, going it, I don't have my gloves back on. Wait one second. Let me put my gloves back on, y'all. Oh, today has been really long for me. I've been busy, busy, busy. Now, let's get this poured. Let's get this baby on the road. Get this baby done. Make sure y'all go along the edges and around the knob. Because you want your knob to be stuck in there really good. Let's see, can I make it around there? Hmm? Well, I did something. I did something, y'all. Go up in those corners. Up in these corners. Get it to go around the knob. It's gonna, everything's gonna level out anyway, so. Oh. Um, That'll be great. May not turn my elbow around to y'all. Y'all probably say, ooh, girl. Where is your lotion? I got some lotion. I just didn't put none on. Okay. I'm hoping that'll be really smooth. Where that be is. Excuse me. Buzzard. I don't know why I do that sometimes, y'all. I It's like, not hiccups, but, and not a bird. It's something. I don't know what it is. So 
see, can I get this off of my stick? And go right on back in there. Sound like I'm talking to a child going right back in there. Maybe I should have used the heat gun for a second. You think that would be better? I don't know whether it would or not. It might be the last time that I use this mold right here. Y'all think I should add a little bit of glitter? I know. No. But I did want to add a little bit of the mirror going around because these these are little foil. They're, it's not foil, but let me see. Can I show you? These. This is what it is. And I use the silver. Ooh, I hope I don't drop nothing. I use the silver in there, and it looks like it's mirror, but it's not. And then I wanted to add these rocks right here that I made. I think they'll look good along the edges. Um, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do a couple right here with you guys. And the rest of it, I'll do it off camera. I'm getting a little spoon. Gosh, and I already put my resin in and stuff. I hope I don't. I hope this is not a mistake. <laughs> I don't want very many. Just a couple here or there. I don't know, y'all. Too late now. Because I need for it to lay down a little bit more. I'm always doing something else. I'll, I'll lay some down and I'll just get the, um, the little stick just to spread it out a little bit. And make sure that they're not uh, sticking out of the mold. Yeah, I like these little rocks I made. I might have should have kept it like it was. Oh, I'm always doing something. Okay, I did that little line with y'all and the rest of it I'll do off camera. 